What's up guys, this is God Type Alien. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the mother load mine in old school RuneScape. I'm playing on my phone right now on the mobile version because I don't have a computer. As you can see, I have all my mining gear on. You're gonna need a pickaxe, obviously. Someone was kind enough to give me this dragon pickaxe. Thank you, bro. I got my rock golem following me. And you're gonna wanna bring a hammer. And just so you know where I am located in Falador. Below the bank, south of the bank, you're going to find the entrance to the mining guild. Come into the, the middle of these buildings here and climb down the ladder. And this brings you to the dwarven mines. This little section here has a lot of coal. It's a good place to mine, but if you get up, well, I believe this is members only, you go into this room and there's even more. But you can get into the mother load mine over here by entering this cave, a little red creepy little cave over here. You're gonna crawl through that and you're officially in. So once you're in the mine, first of all, these rock falls, they just fall from the ceiling every once in a while. You gotta clear them out of the way, a little bit of XP there. But you'll find on the walls, these ore veins, they're just white, like little white veins on the walls. And that's what you're mining within here. There's no like, there's no normal, you know, coal, iron, none of that. You're strictly mining this. And what you get from that is pay dirt. Going to clear the path. And come out here to the center. And you'll see this little contraption in the middle like a little moat full of water what you want to do is click this deposit hopper the machine needs to be repaired and that is where the hammer comes in handy because this machine breaks down all the time it's just the nature of the beast you can wait for somebody else to fix it and your or your ore will stay in there but if you come here just hammer that up real quick you get a little bit of smithing XP actually and the water will start flowing and then you come over to this sack on the other end click on that and you collect your ores come over here there's a banking area gonna deposit those real quick and every once in a while you will get these gold nuggets now what you do with those, you trade this guy here, Percy. You give him 100 gold nuggets, or no, I'm sorry. 40 gold nuggets for the hat, 60 for the body, 50 for the legs, 30 for the boots. There's also a coal bag. gem bag, soft clay pack, and a bag full of gems. Now what you will really need to focus on is the outfit which will give you some extra XP. And if you get a 100 gold nuggets and you are level 72 mining, you can come up to this upper section. Up here, there's a lot more, I mean a lot more places to mine and they are time based so that means multiple people can be on the same spot it doesn't really matter because it's just they'll all be getting the ores it just lasts for a certain amount of time you go to the next one and there's a lot more options up here so you really want to go if you're looking for the XP I would go for the outfit first if you have the mining level and you want to just 
get up here first and then get the outfit. It's really up to you. But all in all, I mean, it takes a while to get the, the gold nuggets. So you'll be spending a little bit of time in here. Um, I'd say typically if you get put a full inventory into this machine, sometimes you don't get any. Sometimes you get up to like three or four or, or even more in one load. So it's really random, but... That's all there really is to it. It's a good way to get some fast XP. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments because this probably didn't explain everything as good as I wanted to. Peace.